Take one. So this look is inspired by Glenn Arthur Art from Instagram and I'm going to be doing a recreation of his zombie today. So starting off with priming my eyes, I'm going to powder this all over my lips and then I'm going to mix my foundation with Suva Hydro Liners in Cool Mint and c -Nip. And just applying some water to activate the Hydro Liners and then I'm going to mix them together with the foundation and blend it all over my face. And then taking some of that foundation to the center part and with a big um, fluffy foundation brush, I'm just going to distribute this all over my face and down to my neck. And then for concealer, I'm using e.l.f. concealer to my under eyes. For moving on to my brows, I'm going to be using that Cool Mint Hydro Liner and apply this with an angle brush on the beginning of my brows and then taking the darkest C nymph and outlining my brows and shaping them. Then I'm going to take the Cool Mint color and then just reapply it going towards the center from the start. Then with the Cupcakes and Monsters palette, I'm using Lover Club and I'm going to apply this on the outer corner of my lids into the crease. To blend out that green, I'm going to be using Sugar Diet which is a MAC turquoise colored eyeshadow and I'm going to use that to act as a transition color. And also for my bottom lash line, I'm going to be applying those two colors with a flat shader brush. I'm going to constantly go back and forth with those two shades using a clean blending brush to blend it out as well. And I'm also going to use these two colors to do my contouring to make my cheeks more hollow. I'm starting off with the sugar diet, just making sure to contour the areas where I want to contour my face. So nose, under the lip. To highlight my face, I'm using Electric Slide, a yellow matte base eyeshadow, and then just supply it on the highlighting points of my face, just below the green, just to give a dimension and transition to this flesh. Then I'm taking Clover Club and just darkening the areas where I contoured. And with the ABH Moonshine Glow Kit, I'm using Lucky Clover and highlighting a lot. And I'm using a Morphe Brushes Palette 35M and using the blacks only and then really darkening that outer corner, outer crease and making a really, really nice V shape and take it into the crease, into the center and then I'm also using that to contour as well and with the ABH eyeliner, I'm gonna be applying this on my waterline taking Emerald City, I'm gonna apply this on the center of my eyelids and using bamboo eyeshadow to apply on the inner corner taking that black, I'm gonna be applying more black to the tip of my nose because that's what the reference photo is showing me and for the eyeliner, I am using the Balm Cosmetics Swing Eyeliner. For lashes, I am using the Violet Voss which bit will good. <laughs> then I'm taking the Space Panda Hydro Liner from Suve, which is a matte white base, outlining and shaping the teeth. So I'm only doing like the one bottom corner. taking the Bloody Mary eyeshadow which is a red matte shadow from the Suva Cupcakes and Monsters palette and just outlining where the gash is going to be and just going to put the red shadow just between the teeth and also using that eyeshadow to outline the tears and where the blood will be streaming down and I'm still using the same angle brush as I was using for the eyebrows so yeah gonna apply some shadow to where the flap of the skin is gonna be using Clover Club. And again using Bloody Mary eyeshadow to just keep outlining, you know, keep adding some more blood to this look. Using Lot Cosmetics lipstick in 666 and darkening that red. Then I'm taking Grease Hydro Liner, which is a matte black um, hydro liner, and I'm applying this on the same spot as I applied the red, just to give more dimension and depth and detail work. Taking Cool Mint Hydro Liner, and I'm just applying some highlighting onto the flabby skin on like the gash. 
and also did my hands um, off camera because my camera ran out of battery so I was just doing that in the meantime waiting for the battery to charge then moving on to my neck I am going to take the foundation the same steps as before with the face and just taking it down to my neck and contouring to make my bones stand out more and then in the center of my neck I'm going to darken with the black shadow and also um, Bloody Mary eyeshadow the red one just to kind of make it look like the blood is still streaming down from the gash in the mouth and I was using a big blending brush for that and then I'm taking a flat synthetic brush and then just applying Milk Cosmetics lipstick to drag this red more down and then just adding some to the sides and also just adding some to make that veiny texture like really destroyed skin you don't have to be precise with this do like layers and layers to kind of give it dimension so i'm playing more darker reds and blacks and going back with some more reds and black again and then doing some detail works here with the crease hydro liner And lastly, I'm gonna highlight my cheekbones and there you go. That's my quick tutorial on how to do this zombie inspired makeup. I hope you enjoy and please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And see you next time for my next Halloween look.